Okay, we're on the actual battery UG. My buddy is trying to work his way through all the vines. We're pretty elevated here, as you can kind of tell. Um, my guess is this, this build up here was probably the bomb proof at some point. And descriptions of the, of the battery say that there was a big Columbiad uh, cannon that was placed on top here. Uh, but again, there's a lot of erosion on the other side of uh, this buildup of earth, earthen fortification. And uh, to give you an idea of the elevation, again, I'm, we're, I am facing now south. At the time, none of these trees would have been here. They would have been all uh, cleared away so they could have a clear field of fire at the uh, encroaching U.S. Naval Fleet that was trying to work its way up to the Blakely River. But we're having a very difficult time with uh, the torpedoes that were planted um, in the upper Mobile Bay. And that in the uh, Dog River Bar, they were having a hard time getting up close enough so that they could aid in the uh, reduction of Spanish Fort in 1865. But this is kind of what it looks like. It's kind of hard to discern, but you can tell that there was a uh, some earth brought in here and built up to, you know, to, to uh, uh, build this battery UG here in Upper Mobile Delta. But uh, I'm trying to look around here a little bit so you guys can see what it kind of looks like. It's a lot of vines, and but you can look down there. It gives you an idea how high up we are at this point. But this was all brought in from the vicinity of Blakely on barges and the men just manually piled it up here and formed this earthen fortification to, to protect access to the Blakely River and the Appalachia River. And again, they would have pilings off in the water to the east and to the west. So if an approaching enemy vessel, the U.S. Navy approached, they would be able to... Uh, uh, bombard them because they wouldn't be able to get past those pilings. So it was an effective uh, uh, obstruction to keep the U.S. Navy out. But this is it. This is a battery UG. And I don't recommend coming out here anytime earlier than October because you would probably going to meet some reptiles of different sorts, snakes and alligators. But uh, right now, it's not too bad. Um, kind of tangled up here. And, uh, is this the erosion, we think, or is this just part yeah, of the fort? This is part of the fort, I think. Yeah. I mean, I, I think the erosion is on the other side over there. Yeah. Look at how this thing is. Look how far it is down the river. Yeah, it's, it's, again, this is a, gives you an idea, and this is a, probably eroded quite a bit over the years. It gives you an idea of the type of work and effort that these uh, men went through to build up Battery UG. But you can see we're pretty elevated here. Beautiful view of the Upper Mobile Delta. But uh, again, we're right on top of Battery UG here. One of the last fortifications that held out against the siege of 1865 here in Mobile for the campaign for Mobile.